Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're back out here in the garage. We're gonna do a little review of my setup for 2023 native Titan 10.5. I'm gonna go over everything that I have from, from front to back. Uh, let's get into it. Okay, we'll just start from the front here. We'll just kind of show it off a little bit. I don't have anything uh, rigged up yet uh, at this point. Uh, just kind of showing it uh, how it is uh, without being rigged up. It's all the way to the back here where the tackle crate sits. Got the uh, holder there for the uh, back battery. And got the live scope arm here holding the 34 uh, transducer okay let's get started here we'll start here up in the front in the front here we have you can see inside got the uh, black box at the wizard mounted black box back here in the in the front live scope I believe it's like a black black uh, plate here on the on that little that little bump right there inside the uh, front hole you put that on ran the wires the live scopes right there the arm we'll talk about that in a second and then right here is an arm or handle for the secondary battery which holds a 24 volt, 35 amp battery. It's my backup battery to the to the main one. Just pull this out and it holds it in place. You just bring it up like this and over and it holds it in place. So that's the inside there. You got uh, my logo right here and the wizard's logo. And as you can tell from the, the theming here that he has uh, done for me, this is all hand painted. And you got the front up here, it's a green strap for the uh, dynamic dolly up in the front. And of course we got the uh, Jack Power lights, green and red navigation lights. We got the uh, keel guard protector. I think one. It's, I think it's a one objective. Put that in myself. Uh, let's go to the. Let's go to the graph. Graph say a Garmin 93 SV. I don't have it in right now, but it's a Garmin 93 S SV. Which I go, I, I could switch back and forth between the live scope and then grab mapping and uh, 2D and down imaging and side imaging. And you got the upgraded uh, handle here with the uh, Gomexis uh, knob. This is uh, pretty, pretty handy to have something that's sturdy compared to the one that it comes with. Never had an issue with this one. Under here, I don't have it in there, but right there it's in a blue container. Holds my uh, 12 volt, 50 amp battery, which controls all my uh, all my lights. Controls the graph, live scope, and everything else. Also the, uh, the GoPro that's in the back, controls all that. Go around to the uh, back here, and this here is the uh, light for the back, navigation light for the back, white light. It's pretty much standard uh, how early that we uh, head out for tournaments. You can see that in my uh, some of my videos. And then right here, right here is the uh, Biomino 
24 volt 50 amp for the back. This connects to the uh, battery under the seat and this connects to the back. So yeah, that's, so basically I got 85 amps of motor power and I'm running the uh, Newport NK180 in the back here. Never had an issue. Have them on uh, all three of my boats, two of my boats. The other, the other uh, boat, uh, the Slayer Max 10 is uh, my daughter's. The other one is a native Titan 12 that uh, that has the uh, torpedo, but uh, I'm an NK 180 guy. So right here is the uh, live scope arm. Not too sure what model it is. I think it's Blaza, but I'm not too sure. Um, this here, you just pull this this knob up here. And it swings down right along here. You can pull it in and out. And then you, this knob pops up and you can spin it, turn it around to uh, wherever, uh, wherever you're looking. This knob here is for the, uh, this knob here is for the uh, throttle for my motor. And then I'm running uh, Yak Power right here. Yak power switch. So basically, turn it on. Graph is pretty much run just on the power. One is live scope when it's turned on with the motor. And then B is, uh, is the navigation lights. M is the light in the back. And S is the inside lights right here. I got two inside lights right there. And then number two is for the backup battery up in the front. Got a little uh, tool caddy here that I use for my uh, pliers and scissors and whatnot. Keep a few extra plastics in here. When I'm out fishing, whatever I'm using at the time, robo worms and whatnot. And then right here, you all know the uh, tray right here. Ramel had me, uh, got me some of these dividers right here so I can keep them in my little uh, tray right there. So that's the tray right there. And obviously got a little uh, kayak cushion right here. Got to gotta have that. I also got a back one, but it's not in right now. Of course, I've got to have the uh, advertisement for YouTube and Instagram. And obviously the, the pedals, pedals go here, go up and down, down into here. Got my uh, net holder right here. Goes across right there. Not sure what kind of mount mount this is that he put on uh, my kayak for the uh, Garmin. Got some side paneling here as well. You may have noticed. This here, my mother-in-law, she passed away a couple years ago. He put that on there. Something that she said uh, every single time we were around her. A couple tracks like this here on uh, either side. That's pretty much uh, it. 
I mean, uh, got the uh, the landing gear uh, wheels here. Um, don't don't use them anymore because I got the uh, dynamic dolly. A lot better for the back. But uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That'll that's gonna wrap it up. I mean, uh, pretty simple um, for my uh, tournament setup here. Here sits the uh, native 12. And then there's a Slayer right there. That's my daughter's. Video's coming up in the Slayer, coming up in August, later July. That's pretty much uh, my native Titan 10.5 2023. And uh, you know, the question is, you know, why do you have this instead of the uh, Titan X? Well, uh, this suits me pretty well for what I do. And uh, maybe in the future, we'll, uh, we'll get a Titan X or maybe down the line, it'll be a different, uh, different kayak that uh, Native comes out with. But we'll, uh, we'll cross that road when we, uh, when we get there. But for now, this, this works really, uh, really good for me and what I do so uh, but thanks uh, thanks for watching make sure you subscribe like leave a comment let me know what you think I'll try to get every uh, link possible for uh, all these different uh, features on here for this kayak catch you in the next one peace